doing here at Superbooth 2022? So we've created a platform for people to design their own instruments. And when I'm saying instruments, I mean really like just imagine that situation where you're starting to design your thing and you're like working with a breadboard, maybe with a Teensy or with an Arduino. Yeah. It has a lot of cables and you have no idea where you start or where you end and it's a bit hard to like really work with this. Yeah. And once even when it's working, you're kind of like, it's not really fun to play with. Um, so we've created this platform that allows you to design your own synths. It starts with a kit, it goes with a video course, and then with a community that we have on Discord of engineers, designers um, that work together to build awesome instruments. Yeah. What we see here is um, two voices, uh, filter, bit crushing, volume, um, instrument that I've designed here the past two days. Um, but this one is a dual looper that Roberto Norris uh, designed and we then start, started working on the way that it's actually going to be um, produced into the market, basically. That's um, so you can actually see there in the, uh, in the iPad, this one is the mono synth that I showed first. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this one is the dual looper that we're working on that's going to be also released. So this is basically this. Right, and how do you go from how do you go from like developing your idea on the Arduino to, to getting it onto the board? Like, what's the process? So it's pretty simple. What you do is you take your components, you basically get this package. Um, super proud of the package because it's uh, we managed to do it free shipping because it goes into your envelope. Oh, you it's basically like a letter, get, yeah. You basically get this bag and it asks you what's inside you wonder. And it can literally be whatever you want. It's up to you. Amazing. Um, and then when you open it, it looks like this and you have all these components and you can start putting them in different places on the board and you just need one single wire to connect each of them to the microcontroller. Your microcontroller is here and then uh, let's say this one is number 64, it has here a pad 64 which you could connect to any of these pads oh, and these are hardwired really? internally into here. And what, what sort of thing would you be putting at this point? Yeah, that's a good, really good question. So this is completely platform agnostic. As long as you're sticking to the Arduino Nano size, so uh, Pico or a TZ or a uh, Daisy Seed, all of these things could actually fit here. Uh, and then the difference between those might be that the VCC or the ground might be here or here or here. So you need to wire them to here. But once you wire the VCC and ground, the whole thing is wired. That's and then you just take one of your, like the component you want, you put it here and then you connect it from this pad here to this pad here, which makes the hard connection to the microcontroller, which you can then program. So really easily you could play around with your filter sweep. For example, let's get this running. And, and let's say that I don't really like the, uh, let's say like this is a bit crusher and it might be a bit too harsh so I can immediately just it is connected to the computer already I can uh, 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 adjust the code a little bit and really see the results and really feel like an instrument when I work with it yeah so you have control over like the digital elements yeah. as well as these physical interaction points and, and uh, just looking at the board there do you have you have you seem to have space for um, faders, uh, not, uh, sorry, so, so, pots, so knobs, buttons, switches, switches and sockets. sockets. That's brilliant. Can we just have a close look at the the board there? Wow. Yeah, maybe let's it's an incredible, uh, yeah. incredible design to. Thank you. To have it all. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, I have to say that it's a community effort. This is not only me, and uh, it's really even funny to say that it's only me because, like, literally. Anything that I learned about the electronics of this came from the community, from companies like Erica Sitz, um, that are like, first of all, I run the synth design podcast, as you know. Yeah. So, like, I really ask questions that I don't really understand. How do they do this? How do they do that? On the user experience level. Um, and then we share all this knowledge online, and then we have the core of the community, which is about 300 people. Um, that are really just asking, uh, some of them are students, some of them are professional, how do we do this, how do we do that? And, um, and then I come up with something like this, and this is actually nine months old, so it's like 
birthday today. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Um, um, and, and, and I ask people, so what do you think about this and what do you think about that to the level of like, this is the website, do you guys have any suggestions on this? Um, and also the, the income that comes from this goes directly to the community. So uh, this is like, it's a, like I have my own nonprofit and the money goes into creating the podcast, developing more features into the, into the, uh, into the product, um, getting developers like we have now, for example, this challenge that we gave. Um, there are like three design challenges you, that you can pick on the website now or okay. also here. Great. And then you design the interface and you post it on Instagram or Facebook with uh, the hashtag synth, design, uh, simple, uh, simple Synth. And, uh, uh, and the best ones are going to go into like the official simple instruments. Just Great. like Roberto's one, which is actually going to be a physical instrument that you could actually buy. Yeah, and what's the website address people need to find this? SynthUX.academy. SynthUX.academy, great man. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. And where can people find this? Um, where can, can people buy this kit now? Where do uh, they SynthUX.academy slash simple. Okay, excellent. And um, uh, yeah, and they could basically get, uh, like the goal is really in the next half a year, we want to get to, the, to this kind of level of interfaces. Yeah. So uh, these are all instruments that people in the community develop. Um, they very is, much look like the professional modules I've seen around in Supergroup that's, today. That's really the goal. Yeah, I really feel yeah. like uh, um, you should start with the end goal. You know, like once uh, uh, I, I feel like as a musician, once I see something like this, I wanna, I, I wanna learn. Yeah. Like they asked me, asked me in one of the academy courses I'm running to run a programming course, and I was like, I do not teach programming. Let's focus on. Like, what do you want to build? Do you want to build uh, an interactive experience, a sound art device, uh, a light installation? Let's start yeah. there. And Great. on the way, you'll learn what an if statement is. Exactly. So it's a bit of a backwards way of doing it, but I think it's much more inspiring and engaging with people. Yeah, and motivating general. as well, because you, yeah. you've got that end goal in sight from the beginning. Yeah, 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 yeah. and just finally, how much does the kit cost? How much so, do people uh, pay for the kit? This is going to be in uh, two different kits. One is uh, simply brainless, which mm -hmm. does not really have the microcontroller and has less of these components. You still get the board itself. Uh, and you get a few components, and this one uh, now goes for 99 euros until one Sunday. After this, it'll go back to 160. Okay. And there's another kit that is 189, uh, 289, but goes now for 200, and it's the simply packed. And this has a lot of, <laughs> a lot of components, like 20 of these, 20 of these, uh, 12 of these, 12 switches. So you could really uh, play around and experiment and fail and build and fail and build until the point that you actually build something that you like you're really proud of. Excellent. Yeah. Well it's a great product Rowie. Uh, thank you so much for speaking to us. Thanks today. Sir. I really appreciate it Chris. Cheers, thank man. you.